why time is running out for the narcissist. The narcissist has engaged in so much unfair and dishonest conduct. They manipulated you. They lied to you. They gaslighted you. They may have discarded you. They may have started a smear campaign against you. They set you up. They deceived you so that you fell victim to something. They betrayed you. They violated your trust and confidence. They turned other people against you because it was the only opportunity they saw to gain power by lying to you and manipulating you. But time is running out for the narcissist because eventually they will be exposed. They covered everything up. They tried to prevent people from discovering the truth about their serious mistakes or crimes. They were plotting to destroy you. They try to isolate you. They manage to get people to believe in their lies and manipulations of how they cared about you, of how they did everything they could for you, of how they tried to help you. But the entire time they were wearing a mask, they concealed their true intentions. But at some point, their lies will come back to haunt them. It will have repercussions which cause problems for them in the future. Their time is running out. Up until this point, they managed to play the victim. They managed to fool everyone. They used you for their own purpose, while pretending as though they cared about you. While pretending as though they were loving and compassionate. But their time is running out. And eventually you will see that they're doing bad. But you shouldn't feel bad for them. Because they set out to destroy you. They criticized, blamed and punished you. So that they could avoid blame and gain an advantage. You were made to suffer. You were left for dead. They lied to you. They stole money from you. They did all of these sick and twisted things to you. But then their time runs out. And then things start going bad for them which may make you feel bad. It may make you want to help them. But you shouldn't intervene. It's just the results of their own actions. It's their karma. It's the law of cause and effect. Or they're being punished by God. Whatever it is, you shouldn't interfere. 
You shouldn't try to prevent it from continuing. You shouldn't go against what God has destined for them, whether it is something good or bad. You may feel sympathy if they're in a difficult or unpleasant situation, but you have to understand that it's the result of their own actions. They're destined to experience the same kind of things that they have caused other people to experience. They get what they deserve. Whatever they put their time and energy into is what they get back. But you shouldn't hold a grudge. You shouldn't hold on to resentment. Resulting from a past insult or injury. You shouldn't be resentfully unwilling to give or allow something. You should forgive them. That is the healthy thing to do. But you should also allow the consequences of their actions to take place. Because it's not just about you. They have infected so many people's lives. But now their time is running out. And it will catch up to them. It will make up the difference. But because you were so involved with a narcissist, it may affect you emotionally. It may make you want to intervene. But that is not the right thing to do. Because even if you do that, as soon as they get better, they will do the same thing again. Which may seem contrary to common sense expectation. But this is how they function. So when you see they're down and out, don't intervene. You're not meant to get involved. You're not meant to participate. You're not meant to correct the situation. Because if you do, they're just going to manipulate and abuse you all over again. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.